Jim McLean story, folks. Don't regret at the moment. And there's the famous Dundee United manager. And there he is. Well, I must say it's a fantastic start because we've got a uh, a Star Wars or the Empire Strikes Back uh, bag which I'll be using forever now, and we've also got some luminous lights, New England IPA on top, and we've got a a shoebox with loads of oh, bits and pieces. I can see kit kats and all sorts of things in there right so we'll do an opening when we get home excellent stuff thank you very much guys really do appreciate that very very kind of you right well i've already got four tins of this uh, luminous light ipa fantastic all righty folks well <clears throat> here we go from emily and ian make thank you very much indeed guys Already we've had a great start. I've got four beers, four IPAs in the fridge already from the top of this one here. And we've got a Star Wars bag as well. The Empire Strikes Back. Look at that. Fantastic, man. That's going to be my, my new go bag. Wherever I go now, that's going to be my shop bag. So what we've got in here, we've got, a, we've got lots of things in the bag here, man. What's in here? Right, we've got some, uh, some envelopes. And it says, you might recognise this from your wall. Okay. Let's see what that's about. Right, let's see what we've got. Oh man, we've got some Kit Kats. Yes, excellent. Thank you very much. Kit Kats. I've been off them for a while, but that's me back on them again. Superb stuff. Kit Kats. Great start there. Oh man, some Commando Libraries. Brilliant. You know I love my Commando Libraries, man. Right, we've got a Run For It. Fighting Partners, 26 pence that one is, crikey, look at this, quite old. A 20 pence one, Glide Into Danger, oh yes, Glide Into, I love the artwork on these things, man, look at them. Getting shot down, you don't get that anymore. I tell you, man, you wouldn't get that on any of these modern ones. I mean, people get like, people getting killed and everything, I get a, a double trouble, brilliant. Death Valley, my goodness me, look at, look at that. An explosion with the, the 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 Nazis falling off. Superb man, I tell you that these this artwork is absolutely awesome. This is what I love. Under two flags. Look at that. Look at the action on that. Look at the the way the the aeroplanes are going right down there, man. Look at that. Superb. A couple of hurricanes going straight into action. The Germans are all over the place there. Superb. Love it. We have Mark of a Killer. Well, I mean, look at the artwork on that. Look at that. That's like James Bond or something, isn't it? It's a secret spy with a Luger. Must be a German. Mark of a Killer. A Race Against Time. We have a rescue one. That's a rescue one. Oh, you can sense the cold and the chill in that one. Look at that. And there's a guy in absolute agony and pain there shouting away. And this guy's got... What's he holding? What's he holding there? What's he got? I don't know what he's got there. He's got that. I don't know what he's holding there. I have to have a close look at that one. Roman Challenge. Oh, what's this, man? This is a new one. Look, a Roman Challenge. Crikey. What's this one? Warriors Battle in Time. My goodness me. Wow. I've never seen one like that before, so that's fantastic. And Destination Siberia. There we go. So, absolutely wonderful. There. Add to my collection. Thank you very much for that. Um, right, well, we'll open, we'll open these and see what this is. Oh man, it's, oh my god, it's the Warlord! <laughs> no way! It's Warlord! It's the, it's the episode, look! Oh man, brilliant! Look at this! Warlord and Bullet! But look! It's the actual edition, how on earth did they find, how on earth did you find that, guys? That is just absolutely incredible. The Battle of Britain is at its height, but the RAF is far from being beaten. 
the fighting eagles. Oh, that is just incredible, man. Oh, my goodness me. How on earth did you find that? That is just absolutely out of this world, man. Oh, my goodness me. Wow. So when did that, when did that come out? That was 1979. Was it 1979? 1979, 22nd of January, every Thursday, eight pence. Look at that, man. You got men, men at war in the back. The stories. Codename Warlord. Wow. Actually, probably Vengeance, Vengeance Trail. Yeah, I'm going to read that, man. Listen, guys, this has just been the most exciting uh, box opening so far. This has really cheered me up after my my uh, well, you know, I had my, my disastrous fall. What else we got here, man? What have we got here? Oh, get in! Flying origami. Yes, look at that. Superb. Right, we're making some paper aeroplanes out of that. Guys, you've thought this is just absolutely incredible. I'm so, so happy. Right, we'll be making some of these. Look at that. Oh man, brilliant. <clears throat> we've got another one. What have we got here? We have Hawk. Oh man, Hawkwind Masters of the Universe. This. Oh mate. Hawkwind. Nick Turner. Look at this. This is the Hawk Lords. Thank you so much, Hawkwind. Oh my goodness, me! They're going on the wall, man. That's brilliant. That is just Hawkwind, Hawkwind, Hawkwind. Oh mate, look at the artwork on this. This is just incredible. Right, so we've got a set of five of them. So they're going up on the wall. Thank you very much. And I've never, never seen anything like this before. So that's Hawkwind. Oh mate. Um, Hawkwind Strikes Again, the Hall of the Mountain Grill, yes. Now, the Hall of the Mountain Grill was actually a cafe that Hawkwind used to go to uh, when they were recording the album, so they called it Hall of the Mountain Grill. The Hawk Lords, now the Hawk Lords, an interesting title, the Hawk Lords, because the name Hawkwind was taken by, um, I think it was, was it Nick Turner took it, uh, or Dave Brock took it, and uh, so they became the Hawk Lords. And uh, I think Dave Calvert, uh, Rob Calvert sang with them and they've got one album, an album out which is called The Hawk Lords um, and th they recorded one album by that. This is the uh, Nick Turner, Hawk, Hawkwind. Yeah, now Nick Turner was the uh, kind of occasional lead singer with uh, Hawkwind and he had the saxophone, he had Papa's saxophone all across some Hawkwind songs, quite annoying sometimes, but some of the stuff he did was actually really good. So uh, there we go, that's uh, that one there. And we also have Hawkwind Masters of the Universe. Look at that, what a set, what a set of photographs that is, man. Of, um, and it's all on really nice paper as well. So I'll stick that back in the envelope and uh, we'll put them on the wall. This is just incredible. This is this is just this is just really cheered me right up, man. Okay, now we're going to take the, the the we'll take a break. Hang on, we'll take a break, folks. All right. Tesco, Empire Strikes Back. Call me now, Kit Kat. Hmm. I am your father. All right. We'll finish this. Mmm, wonderful. Now, we have the shoebox. Let's cut this open and see what's in here. Wow, man, there's loads in here. Guys, what's going on? This is just too much. I, I, it's just, it's just too much, guys. Honestly. Oh man, look at this. Right. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Vinyl Adventures from Istanbul to San Francisco. Tim Book to Tim Burgess. Oh, Tim Burgess, that's um, the lead singer with the Charlatans. Oh man, what a book! Thank you very much. I know Emily, you like 
that's your favourite band of charlatans, so, and I do like the charlatans as well, I must admit, so that is fantastic. We'll have a read, that's, that's my new read. Fantastic. Wow, absolutely brilliant. This is just, oh, Bob, dear old. <laughs> dairy milk, thank you very much indeed. Oh, I do like a dairy milk, I must admit. That won't last long, I tell you, that'll get squashed. Oh man, a wee tripod, yes. Excellent, just what I need, man. That's brilliant, thank you very much. Yep, and it's even got a, a thing on it as well, one of these. Oh, that is just fantastic, thank you so much. Well, that'll get used, there we go. We'll prop that up there. And we've also got, oh, the charlatans, man. We've got an album there, it's the charlatans telling stories telling stories what we've we got here we've got excellent right we'll get that on the that we on the car the charlatans telling stories thank you very much indeed that's really kind of you you know i like my my music wow what's this we've got a little spitfire so we can have spitfire Versus Stuka Dive Bomber. Hans, no, no, bail, bail. Die, I die, dog. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Excellent Spitfire, yes, love it. What a great, great model that is, man. That's brilliant. The working propeller. Wow. I'll right, we'll put that up there. <clears throat> Thank you. We have more commando libraries. My goodness me. Right, what have we got here? Headline hero. Just with a Spitfire. Look at that. It's what we're talking about. Spitfire. There he goes. Headline hero. Actually, we'll put this back up here. Headline hero. Oops, now there's my wallet. Wallet goes up there. Uh, one bad turn, 12 pence. Wow, we have vicious looking Alsatian on there. He's obviously looking for somebody. We have wings of hate. <laughs> wings of hate. That looks like a. Is that a, is that a German shooting at a, 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 a British guy? His name was Greg Sutton. And according to one Australian pilot, he was responsible for the deaths of several men. Hatred was in that pilot's mind. Hatred and thoughts of vengeance for his friends who had been killed. Greg Sutton was now a marked man. Wow. Coward's battle. Germans again shooting. We have death before dishonour. Look at that, guys getting killed, get machine gun down. That'll be on those uh, those Vietnam boats going up the uh, going up the the Vietnam River, whatever that was, the Congo or the, the whatever. Time of terror, a commando sneaking up on his enemy. There, look at that, brilliant knife poised, ready to go. And we have enemy in disguise. Wow, that looks like a bow fighter. And a uh, an American player. That's a strange one, that one. Excellent. Some more to read. Right. Okay. What we got here? Wow. What's this? I've got a wee digital watch, man. Look. <laughs> I don't have a watch, but I do now. And the time is fourteen twenty-seven, which is the right time. That's a Casio, man. That's a really retro, retro thing, man. That's oh man. That's just brilliant. Thank you very much. Remember, you had to press the buttons to do things and that and. Oh yeah, and you set the alarm and everything, and wow, I'm scared to press the buttons because I know something's going to go wrong. Right, absolutely brilliant. Look at that nice retro item there, superb. We have who's this? Who's this? Not sure who that is. Let's have a look at the what have we got here. Oh, I don't know who that is, man. I don't know. We've got a lot of a lot of cigarette butts. Right, who could it be by? Let's have a look. I don't know. It's a mystery. This one I do not know. I haven't got my glasses on. 
I mean, we're going to get my glasses and we'll have a look at that. I know, I'm, I don't know, is it this, I don't know, man, who is it? That's, that's a mystery, that one. I don't know, folks, does anybody know? We will have to find out. Oh, peanuts. Excellent. My caught peanuts. My God, you guys must watch my videos and know exactly what I like, man. That is just fantastic. Peanuts. I got my Jelly Bambinos. Jelly Bambinos. I can't remember how the song went, Jelly Bambino. Got um and some wine gums as well. This is this is incredible. This box is never ending, man. It's just an, an expanding box. What's this we have now? Um, what on earth is this, man? What? Oh, it's this <laughs> We've got um uh what do you call it? coasters with, with the Scottish terms on it, Egypt, crab it, steaming. Blether, absolutely awesome. Blether, Glakit, <laughs> Scunner, Steaming. That's a that's a set of coasters, man. There we go. Look at that. Right, we'll leave them. We'll put them there. Where will we put them? Put them up here just now, so we can use them. That is just absolutely amazing. Oh, I'm just I'm so stoked, man. I'm absolutely stoked by this. Thank you very much indeed. This has really made my my day. I tell you. Oh, for heaven's sake, man! Look, Dak, short and neat. My, I mean, honestly, guys, that is just so thoughtful. That is just absolutely brilliant. Because my other tin is halfway down at the minute, so it's just to make my hair. Oh, guys, honestly, this is just that's too much. It is. What have we got here? Oh, two, uh, two, two cube. Wow, what is? It? Oh, it's a cube, right? I know what it is. It's like a, a two cube, just like this one here. But, wow, awesome. Thank you very much. It's like a puzzle. Oh, I love puzzles and cubes. That'll be in for my collection. We have... Yes, parachute jumper. I've got one of these in my car, man. I haven't used them yet, so we've got two. We've got two to show, to try. Yeah? It's just incredible. Right. Oh, man, what's this? We've got Star Wars figures. No way, man, look. I've got a little Ewok. And General... Oh, what was his name again? Um, oh, I can't remember his name. Vintage 1982 Empire Strikes Back, Admiral Akabal, is it Akabal? Akabar, Akabar, okay. And this one is a, an Ewok, which is a, uh, a vintage one again, man. Crikey, vintage 1983 Return of the Jedi, Chief Chirper. Guys, look, thank you very, very much indeed. This is just... Uh, look, General, General Akbar, there he is, I remember him, they've got little stands and everything as well, and we have, yes, <laughs> we have a microphone, we have a microphone, that is awesome, yes, look, it's got the little thing on it, absolutely incredible, it's got a little clip, that guys is fantastic. Just what I need. Thank you. This is this is just like a Christmas day, man. This really is. And I've got some old ah oh, man, some old postcards of Dun. Is it Dun? That looks like Dundee. Yeah, look. It is. Where was that man? What on earth? Where was that? Look, I don't recognise that. Do you, man? And uh, there's the the tower. The the um. The Victoria Arch. But it's this one here. Where's that? Balgi Park, eh? Balgi Park. Wow, well, okay. Look, I'll have to kind of look for that. That's obviously been a, an old one in there. And here's the Overgate. This is the old Overgate Centre. There it is. There, look at that. With the hotel. Remember the hotel that was there? Goodness me, some old photographs. Oh, man. Brilliant. We have oh, a couple of metal puzzles. Here we go. The goal of this is to remove the long piece. Okay, right. So we've got a well, that's quite quite a complicated one. Right, we'll go for that though. We've all, oh, Hawkwind, the best of Hawkwind, man. There it is. 
Masters of the Universe, who's going to win the, who's going to win the, who's going to win the war? I got a silver machine. Earth calling, do 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 do, earth calling. We're angels of life. We're angels of death. We're angels of life. We're angels of death. I am the master of the universe. Da 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 da. Motorhead, remember me now. Motorhead, all right. Space is dark, it is so endless. When you're alone, it's so relentless. Do do ghost dance. Do 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 do. That's like a tribal thing. We were born to go. We were born to go. Spirit of the age. Is that the spirit of the age? Spirit of the age. Yes, I would have liked to have been deep frozen too. But my father refused to sign the form to phrase you. Let's see you be about 60 now and long dead by the time I return to Earth. Still underage. Your time held applicant. <laughs> Your time held replicant is playing up again. It's no joke. When it comes, she moans another's name. And that's the spirit of the age. Spirit of the age. Man. High rise. Living in a high rise. High rise. Living in... Oh, yes, 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 yes. Right, a couple more things to go. We've got, oh, we've got a Gillette razor. Wow, look at that. Wow, Gillette Fusion 5. No way, man. That's going to give me a... That's going to shave my skin off. Fantastic. Thank you. Wow, I've never done... A Fusion 5 before. That looks awesome. I like that. That's something from the future, man. That does. Look at that. Wow. And we have got a couple of gliders. Yes. <laughs> a couple of gliders to, to play with. Right, we'll get them on the go. And last but not least, we have Star Wars. What have we got here? A New Hope. The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. No way, man. Oh man, I'm going to watch them now. That is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to put them on my laptop and watch them. And that, my friends, is the box empty. Now, listen, I don't know what to say. Well, I do know what to say. I said thank you very, very much indeed. That's very kind of you. Much appreciated. There's been a lot of thought gone into every single item here. Um, and a, a bit of expense as well. So, guys, listen... It really has cheered me up um, after having my my little fall, so um, my blackout. So listen, it's it's very very nice of you to think of me. Um, um, I'm, I'm quite emotional actually, just you know thinking about how you've thought of it. Everything, everything's been well thought about, and you know you've put a lot of lot of effort into it, and, and I'm 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 really really you know emotional because all I do is I, I call bingo numbers. For you guys, and, and you know, and it's just so nice of you to to think of me in this these lockdown times. So, Ian and Emily, um, I thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. It's uh, it's it's very kind of you indeed. I must admit, folks, um, I'm most impressed. Most impressed. So. Now, Grandad's going to be really jealous because I've got a couple of gliders and I've got some uh, some origami to make. So that is just awesome. Right. Thank you very much, guys. Now I'm going to say thank you once again. One more big, big thank you to you, to you both. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the opening of the box there, folks. That was incredible, wasn't it? Lots of great gifts. Lots of retro items look at that i've got this little little watchman that's that's just the, the best thing ever that is that's just absolutely awesome um i need to go on youtube and find out how to what what to use how to how to press the buttons and things i'm too scared in case i muck it up remember you used to have one of these when we were younger um it was a silver one a casio yeah a casio and it had uh, an alarm on it and we used to set the alarm off in school, in class, on purpose. So people would think, oh, he's, he's got a watch with an alarm on it. You know, we set it off for halfway during the class lesson. And off it would go. So there we go. Right, look at that. There it is. Right, guys, that's it. Time for me to go. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I'm waiting to go and play with all my things here and read. I'm going to start reading this Tim Burgess book. 
Um, and I know he does a, a, a thing on Twitter now, doesn't he? Or is it Instagram where he does, he does he's got a show on the go. So uh, need to start listening to that as well. But that is just brilliant. Tim Burgess is the lead singer of the Charlatans and author of the memoir Telling Stories. So this is Vinyl Adventures from Istanbul to San Francisco. There it is. So, right. Thank you, folks, and I shall see you sooner than you think. Oh, here we go. Here's all the, here's all the stuff, folks, that we got. There we go, look. And, of course, got all the things down here as well. Brilliant. And, Star Wars as well. Brilliant. So we shall leave you with C3PO and R2D2 watching the Millennium Falcon disappear into the distance. <laughs> I just made up one of these gliders <clears throat> and they actually they fly really well and the propeller moves as it flies it kind of goes goes around um so we'll we'll, we'll have a little chuck of it down here look what's this Oh yeah.